I am very pro-Israel. I've always been pro-Israel. What are President Donald Trump's prospects for peace in the Middle East? Can he do what no president has done in the last 50 years and bring about an end to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict and a two-state solution? He certainly said he'd like to try. He's even called it, quote, the ultimate deal, suggesting his Jewish son-in-law, Jared Kushner, might be the one to do it. President Barack Obama tried. There were negotiations the Obama administration led in 2010 by then Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, and then again four years later under Secretary of State John Kerry. Both rounds of negotiations between Israelis and Palestinians fell apart with finger pointing and both sides blaming each other. Can Trump do any better? Well, he's said that a UN Security Council resolution passed a month before his term condemning settlements in the West Bank and East Jerusalem would make it harder to negotiate peace, but he said he'll get it done anyway. He's made promises. He's promised to move the U.S. Embassy from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem and recognize Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. Though Israelis have lauded and praised that decision or that promise, Palestinians have condemned it, calling it the death of a two-state solution. Will Trump fare any better than his predecessors? Well, he certainly brings an outsider's perspective to the conflict, that of a businessman, not a politician. But those presidents who have dealt with the conflict have done so with a very delicate touch, something Trump isn't known for. Thank <laughs> you.